here we go, last stages of the game. You can see the aid requests have now been done and the Congo, I believe, ended up winning both of them, which is quite something. So diplomatically, yeah, look, you can see they've done well. The Zulus are doing pretty good, they're on 12. I'm on 10. I mean, I, I find that hilarious, and it's purely because I just built the um, Statue of Liberty. It's a good thing I did, actually, a very good thing I did, because if Shaka had got that, oh, that would have been absolutely nightmarish. But there's 27 turns until the next Congress, so I'm hoping the Zulis aren't going to be able to do anything before that point to, to find this. Now, we are teching up. As soon as I get robotics, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we'll be able to find the exoplanet uh, expedition, but, you know, knowing my luck, probably not. Uh, Levy on Mars, integrated space cell, veterancy, all of these things are still absolutely delightful. Really, really lovely. I'm burning a lot of oil for power. Uh, so actually, I'm going to get resource management instead of veterancy, just to get a little bit more oil in. I'm burning the planet. It doesn't matter right now. That's, that's fine. <laughs> We've come to terms with it. The world will burn and I will be the island nation because actually I've got all my walls up so I can't flood now. I am I am immune to flooding. I am the invincible island king. Come and get me, you assholes. Uh, also, you know, while I'm getting really angry, let's just get Pingala sorted. Why not? And I think I'll give Armani... Should I give Armani some stuff? Or should I go for Reina? Actually, I was going to go for Reina so I could go for Contractor, wasn't I? Now I remember. Now, I can beat the Mayans at their own game here, if I'm lucky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attack and go wha-bang, like so. Uh, I will use my Guru to heal. Lovely. Just a little bit of uh, extra juice for my Apostles. Uh, and then I can go wha-bam, like so. Yes. Okay, we're going to bring our religion. Even if they don't like it, our religion will come and the fishy teeth will be paid. I'm still funneling through campus research grants in order to just... I really, really want Stephanie. God, that 100% space production. Give it to me! The only problem is people can buy her with gold, so I'm saving my gold and I'm just going to snag her as soon as I can. I do think somebody's going to grab her because we've got people with like 59 grand, 64 grand. I think, didn't Scotland at one point have 100 and something? I don't know what they've done with that. They, they may have kept it. They may have just sold it all. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. Are Scotland even in still? Yeah, they are still in the game. Ah, I can't find them. I, it's, you know when you just go blind because there are so many people and I cannot find... Oh, there he is. Yeah, look, 125 grand. So, yeah, I, don't, I may not actually end up winning her, but I really want to. I'm building holy sites everywhere, by the way, just to give myself more faith. Um, because, obviously, the food is really, really good. This Feed the World is amazing. And, well, I'll be honest, it's quite fun just to shoot missionaries out. I mean, there's no point in doing so, but it's quite fun. God, it's amazing how much my culture did boost through the game. As I say, I'm not jumping on any of these late game techs at the moment because communism is giving me a huge amount of extra food and production into the capital. Uh, not even the capital, my replacement capital. Look at this, it's got 25 population and from nothing it's gonna grow in two turns and that's purely because even with a negative thing but look at this modified food per turn at plus 160 i mean that's nuts amenities are a problem though that that admittedly is a problem we might have to go and just see if i can find some amenities yeah there, there are actually loads that i haven't got i need to oh i need to go through this and work it out okay so i managed to trade about six resources there or thereabouts i don't like how i can't just funnel them into my capital i really want to just say like look this is the city you know put them in here please put them in there don't know why it won't let me do that never mind god people are really after my governor in this city this is like the third or fourth in in as many turns it's a good thing i'm building spies just shove them in that city it's not quite as bad as my mali game that was exceptional um you can see here i've only actually captured one um in that game, there were so many spies that I captured, I physically couldn't, like, do anything with them. I wish you could just execute them. Do you know what I mean? I'd just say, you know what, I'm not going to trade you back. I'm not giving you back. You clearly are just going to do exactly what you were doing before again. So, you know, I'm going to just kill you. But you can't do that because the game is merciful. How boring. Oh, look at this. Counter spying. All city districts are defended and at plus one at districts within one hex. Yes. Yes, this is good. This means that it's, oh, it's overlapping now. Counter spires of two levels more excited. You, oh, oh, I'll go surveillance. I think for now. Um, I'm also I'm just buying missionaries for fun. Like these guys are 
I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get a religious victory. That that much is, is totally pointless. Um, it's just quite enjoyable being able to just sort of send them this way. Off you go. Uh, in fact, actually, can I... This is a city with a mask. I can never remember which ones have masks in them. Yes. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to buy some in this city as well. Send them over to the Mayans just to annoy them. Here we go. One attack. Followed by a second attack. Ba bam <laughs> Here we go. We're going to start to spread our religion now. This is awesome. You know, the grievances are actually starting to go down fairly low now. Like, only 144 grievances here. People are, are literally denouncing themselves back into friendship with me. I mean, you know, by the end of the game, I may end up having a, a couple more friends than I have done up to this point. I've still got my four allies. They're not going to go anywhere, I hope. Fingers crossed. But... You never know. Entertainment complex is completely full. Nice. Right, uh, let's renew the mission. Oh, yep, just continue to do this. This is all wonderful. Where's my capital gone? Right, um, please tell me that's helped for the lot. I guess it has helped with the amenities. Oh, amazing. Okay, I've got six, six in here, but I've also got six from entertainment now. Oh, I wish I could see what that was. I assume I've got a complete water park, yeah, which I do, and then I also assume that somewhere there's an entertainment complex which is giving it in, uh, some amenities as well, but actually there is no, yeah, there's no entertainment complex, so maybe I could build one of those somewhere. Here's an option, if I can get rid of that antiquity site, maybe I can do it here. Hmm, oh, few. right, we managed to boost our way to her, good, let's just spend 12,000 gold, it's painful. But it's worth it. All technologies from information era, we've now got this. Okay, so there's no point getting great people anymore. We'll switch over. Um, I'm just going to build as many spies as I can just to keep everything protected. Uh, like you can see the water park's getting on nicely. These Antarctic cities are great. If I had more production down here, I would build the Anderson Scott Research Center. That would be cool. Uh, Manhattan Project is now done. Oh, before we do... Um, Du, 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 du. Oh, you see, have I not unlocked Operation Ivy? No, I haven't. That's interesting. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Here's Exoplanet. Exoplanet away! For the sake of safety, I'm actually just going to build a mobile SAM in this city, just in case. Not that I don't trust people, but I would absolutely expect that people would nuke me if they could. That's it. Right, here we go. We'll get one more attack, and then a second attack. Well, boom! Nice. Nice, this is good. Um, get the guru in. Okay, next turn I can do some healing. Excellent. Oh, nope, my guru was absolutely just killed on the spot. Okay, gurus are, are not good to have on the front lines. We realistically should have known this, but that that's fine. Um, why have the Mayans not told me to stop doing this yet? Oh, look, they've got 29 diplomatic favor. Maybe they're, are they polluting too much? Is that what it is? Am I getting grievances with it? No, I'm not getting grievances with them just yet. So technically, this is all absolutely fine. This religious war is totally cool. Um, are these apostles leveled? Because they're producing a lot of these things now. It's difficult to tell. Trajan! Boo! How dare you capture Lisbon? Actually, that's a really funny one for them to capture because there's no... I mean, I was going to say there's no way to hold it, but actually... Loyalty in this game seems to be utterly bugged at the moment. Not sure why. So Stephanie comes in, doubles the production towards space race projects. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and actually this city, weirdly enough, I thought I was supposed to do it in two turns, but I actually have a whole new turn to build something. What could I do? I could, I could send aid. <laughs> that would be a bit pointless, wouldn't it? Just send one turn's worth of aid to Rome. Let's just build a builder. Why not? We'll just get a builder out. Yeah, they're all on holy ground. They've got support bonuses. Even though I've got the master debater, I'm not going to come anywhere near scratching these guys. Okay, I kind of need them to come out of their holy ground. Or at least if I could convert the holy ground away from them, but it's unlikely. Fine, I'll retreat a little bit just for now. But don't you think it's because you've won? No, 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 no. Look at all these aid requests passed. 117 votes for it. Oh, people are desperate to just undertake all these projects at the moment. Okay, the Exoplanet Expedition is ready to go. That is absolutely smashing. Let's just jump on this. Where is it? Three turns. Three whole turns. Oh, well, that's not too bad, especially because I can go whobamp 
and actually take an entire turn off it with my builder. I keep forgetting I can do that. I'm just going to use my gold to keep buying builders to rush it. Now, are we going to be super lucky? No, we're not going to be super lucky. I was hoping we'd be able to unlock uh, the next bit. Um, is this advanced AI? And this one is battery. Oh god, it's just so confusing the way it wraps itself around. Okay, let's just get these two for now. Uh, nuclear fusion and then whatever this is. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it by the end of the game, but the Stadio do Macarana is one of the best wonders in the entire game. That plus two immunities in each city, that's like a plus five or ten percent boost in all stats in everything the city does. It's amazing. Like, I would recommend doing it as soon as you can. Still spreading my fishy smell everywhere. It's good. It's good, although now we've hit... Oh, Eastern Orthodoxy. Oh dear, oh dear. That's a little bit more dangerous and difficult to shift. See, a nice little touch is that Canada never denounces people unless it absolutely has to. Just purely because of its ability, where as long as it hasn't denounced you or you haven't denounced it, you can't surprise war. I just... I like that. It's a nice touch. Exoplanet Expedition. It's up into space. We're on 1,182 science. Just to put this in context, you can see that nobody has built anything else. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous how far ahead we are. I was just about to say, science victory? Someone else is doing it better than us? No, 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 no. Not at all. Um, here we are, 67 techs versus 52 techs and 51 techs. The Incans and Zulu are still on my back but no rocketry for you and where is the Incans? I can never remember what the lead is called. Here we go, Pachacuti. No, yeah, nobody's researched rocketry. I am so far ahead. It is nonsensical that I can about, yeah, I'm just close to building Operation Ivy now. That'll be quite fun. Let's do that. Hey, look, my religion is spreading. Woohoo, this is quite cool. So we've actually got a little bit of influence on Central America. We're not going to spread into America itself. You can see my, my faith pattern is pretty awesome at the moment. 420. Oh man, it would take so long to get a religious victory, especially because I've got no benefits as Indonesia to religious, well, actually either getting religious units or the strength of them. Um, I don't have India or Aztecs abilities or anything like that, but it's fine. Um, okay, what are we going to do? I was going to do something, wasn't I? What was I going to do? Ah, stadiums generate plus one amenities. That's what I was going to do, if I could find something that made it worth it. But at the moment, it doesn't. We'll keep an eye on these, because at the moment, yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on those policies. It's just, I'm tempted to now jump on another government. I really am. As good as communism is, for the sake of, uh, what was it, it's like 20 trade routes, it's about 40 production and, yeah, 80 food, it's a lot. It is a lot. It's whether or not I could do better than that. Oh, I don't know. Let's get see social media while I just think about it. There's a time in every playthrough where you just start building wonders for the sake of it, really. There's no reason for this. I'm just, I'm just building wonders. Because quite frankly, why not? Oh, bugger, my alliance has expired and I forgot to improve them all, which means everyone's going to hate me now. Ugh. Damn it, I wish it would just give you a proper notification you get so many pop-ups in the game for like oh you've just unlocked this tech or civic but nothing pops up to tell you your alliances have gone is that a mod somebody tell me that's a mod because at the moment this is just really annoying okay Gilgamesh will stay friends with me that's good but these guys no you see Mongolia is not he's not going to do that at all he's still got minus 80 on the friendship panel so there's just there's just no point even trying with these guys. No, an old friend is better than two new ones. I am an old friend. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway. Oh, actually, no, embassy. Okay, so the Aztecs, I might be able to just about save. Yes, let's do it. Just while I build Operation Ivy, just to really convince people to um, join with me, you know? It's a temple. Hooray. I think this actually gives me gurus. Yeah, okay. So, I mean totally pointless but why not why not that's the point I've got to in this game now seasteads Ooh, I can put this on I can put those on ocean tiles can't I that's cool that's like the last stage of glory I need for this city oh yes go and do that go and put seasteads everywhere in fact 
by the builders. I want seasteads in all of my bigger cities. Has it unlocked the next thing? No. No, it hasn't. But that means I don't need to go down predict, uh, predict oh no, this one. Oh, bugger, it is this one. Damn it. Right, we're going to go advanced AI, see if it's this one. Otherwise, we've just got to go towards the end of the tree. Ah, oh, I mean, I've already got three light years, but my god, this is slow. Oh, has he left himself exposed? Yes, he has. Now, can we do naval combat with apostles? No. No, we can't. Okay, well, that's a pointless uh, waste of time, isn't it? I was just thinking to do some naval combat. Never mind. Oh, look. Operation Ivy. Thermonuclear device. Don't mind if I do. I mean, I'm, I'm using a lot of my nuclear uh, material for power at the moment, but I can happily divulge a little bit of it just for a good cause like that. I mean, who doesn't like thermonukes? Here we go. It's a seastead. Is it going to be any good? No, is the short answer, but it does provide a lot of housing to the city, so, you know, that's fun. Again, why did I build the Terracotta Army? I'm not entirely sure at this point. <laughs> All my troops now have promotions, though, so that's, um, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, look, an upgrade. Oh, yes, of course. Polygraph. All my spies have got upgrades now. Oh, that's quite cool. Right, did I unlock it? Did I unlock it? No, so it's here. Right, predictive systems. Oh, I think. Is that the Aztecs now converted, pretty much? Yeah, almost. Almost. Right, let's go over to this city now. I think we're doing we're doing pretty good. How's our religion coming along? So 13 civs. We've only got um, 4 civs, unfortunately, but I feel like we've got a lot of cities. I feel like we do. 52 cities against 70, 22, 23. Yeah. Hell yeah, our city. We're doing well. You know what? Whatever this glitch is, yeah, England can't lose cities, but they are still stealing them. Like, look, rebellion in zero cities, but she, in, in zero turns, but she's not losing them. But these Roman cities have definitely flipped. And look, like this city's now flipped. They have one on South America, two on South America now. God, if we leave England to it, they're going to end up taking over the world before we know it. This is amazing. I, I have no idea what sort of glitches caused this, but it's really funny. I guess Sophia, again. Did I? Did I build that? I mean, I must have done. Cool. Well, well there you go. It's the Hagia Sophia. Hooray! Woohoo! We finally got there! Oh, the terrestrial laser station. You could not have come soon enough, honestly. I have been waiting for you. Oh. I mean, it's actually... I'm having good fun. I'm building, like, offshore wind turbines. I'm building seasteads. It's kind of fun, really. Just sort of... It's like um like a sort of game of like city sim builder or something. I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it, but good fun. Uh oh, this thing just keeps erupting. Oh oh, actually that's not even the volcano that erupted before. But yeah, everything's now on fire. It's a good thing I've actually got so many builders in the immediate area because I can immediately go and fix it. It's just like what's happening here? Yeah, Indonesia. Turns out a lot of volcanic activity in this area. Who would have known? Who would have thought, eh? Social media. We're only one turn away from off-world mission now. We're getting there. We are getting there. I'm still building builders everywhere, to be fair. In fact, actually, I might just switch all this around a little bit. I don't need rationalism anymore. That's totally pointless for me. Republican legacy is really good. Collectivization. Yeah, actually, these things are really good. But let's just get public works in. Whoa. That's nice. Okay, good. That means our builders, as they're being built, will have a lot more charges and we can get them to just do cool stuff like build wind turbines everywhere. Yay! I am going to go towards synthetic technocrancy now. The extra power in cities and production towards city projects, it does help. It's very handy indeed. How's this doing? Estadio. Actually, doing pretty good. I just need to make sure that the city is as productive as it can be. Um, it's not. Let's get a builder in. And Magnus, actually. Magnus could really help because I can give him vertical integration. Woohoo! Uh oh. That's not a hurricane I enjoy seeing. Ugh. Off world mission! Okay, good. Right, this is fantastic. One turn terrestrial laser stations. I'm going to be using. Actually, should we use the. La... Let's use the Lagrange. I've got enough for aluminium for two. Yeah, okay. And then I'll put terrestrial laser, uh, laser stations in after. How are we doing? How are we doing on science? We are 10 of 50, so I reckon we can probably finish this in another 10 turns maximum. I reckon. We'll, we'll see if that works or not. First off, laser stations. 
Hopefully the first of many. Okay, right, we didn't get involved in that aid request at all. That's fine. Uh, yeah, should we fix the volcano damage? That was a that was a big old volcano, that one. There's another laser station. Whoa, ho! I wish there was a button where you could just press the temple or the mosque and just say, fix everything. Do you know what I mean? Or like a city project that was just like, fix buildings and it would automatically do it. Because having to go through it one building at a time, it just takes so long and it's so frustrating. God, I'm building so many wind farms. It's actually really, really satisfying. I mean, five power needed in this random Hawaiian city? Cool. But <laughs> it, it's actually, it, Indonesia are a funny one because you've got so many improvements you can put in the water anyway. Finding space for your, uh, for these offshore wind turbines is actually quite difficult. Mega colossal eruptions again, again. Oh dear, I literally, I just put some stuff down. Oh, it's literally watching me round the map. Eiffel Tower, oh nice. Yeah, literally just watching me round the map and destroying everything I put down just to spite me. That's literally all this is. Fine, I'll do it again. Yeah, people are becoming friends. Oh no, okay, can't accept the delegation. Uh, yeah, look, but look, only 58. Only 58 grievances with me now. People are forgiving me slowly. Okay, the religious war over here is um, not going great. Put it that way. <laughs> but I probably can fight my way out. Oh, just, just. Oh no, no, didn't fight my way out. And if I, if anything, I've just ruined all the religious pressure that I've just done in this area. Oh, for God's sake. Never mind. This is why. This is why you don't dabble, like half dabble, in religious games because you just get burnt every time. Oh man, they finally got through to the rockets. Oh, the spaceport. How? How did you do that? There are so many spies. Literally, you three. Right. Linga, you again. You've got tricked again. I've also got you. Who are you? Megawatty. <laughs> Needed more megawatts, clearly. And Andika. You three are useless. What are you even doing? No, I don't want to get involved in emergencies. Oh, that's so frustrating. Anyway, we're tra we've got 20 light years done. We're traveling four per turn at the moment, but oh. Look, it's one turn. How frustrating is that? Right, 350. 350 production. Let's see just how much we lose by going to synthetic technocrancy. Because, oh my goodness, this is going to be a fundamental switch for me. Uh, E-commerce. Five-year plan for the industrial zone adjacency public works because, quite frankly, that's all I can be bothered to do. Now, let's see what else we need. So this plus 0.6 production per citizen. I've got 30 citizens. So that's like 18 more productions. I'll take Communist Legacy. Why not? Um, I think I like the idea of civil prestige. Established governors of two promotions provide amenities and housing. Yeah, that's quite good. Liberalism, more amenities to cities with two districts. That's most of them. Sports media as well for the extra amenities. Uh, and then do I want anything else for now? Yes, I wanted skyscrapers because I'm building wonders everywhere. Right, I'm hoping this is going to massively boost all of my amenities and all my cities. Although it will have to recompute, no doubt. Yeah, so I've lost about 40 or 30 production, but that's not the worst, really. I can handle that. No, I'm not giving it. I'm not helping internationally. Nobody's talking to me, apart from the Aztecs. They love me. Apart from that, not getting involved. Oh my god, I've got a great admiral. What? What? It's Clancy. Now, I just want to double check quickly. Has the Admiral... Yeah, unfortunately, Grace Hooper. Hooper? Hopper? The two randomly uh, chosen technologies. That one's the best one. But it's already gone, unfortunately. I'm, I am going to claim it because I actually think this is the last one. We'll see. Yeah, it was the last one. So, okay, there was no point holding on to that one. Um, yeah, we made the right move. Oh man, I love how cheap district buying is with uh, Raina. Right. Just get the water park in. Why not? And what about a neighborhood? Yes, let's do that. Lovely. Uh, what about... Oh, no, that's all. That's all we can do. But that's not going to stop us from getting a food mall. Nice. And a ferris wheel. And an aquarium. And an aquatic center. And a sewer. Oh, lovely. Tokyo will be a good city yet. Oh, I forgot I was building these. I've now got two aircraft carrier armadas. Because don't forget, the Venetian arsenal. Yay! Don't you love it when Spain just <laughs> explores the map with a battleship armada? Hmm. Yeah, that makes me feel super safe. Oh no, another eruption. Oh my god. 
It's just relentless. Anyway, we've got another space station. They're going back up into the sky now. God, the amount of power this city must be using must be growing quite quickly. Oh, yes. Thank God we've got a nuclear power station in there. And another one. Oh, and the Cristo Redentor. Because, of course, the, uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Why am I building these things? I just, like, everywhere else is building harbour, like, zones. I must just get really distracted and go, Ooh, look, look, I can build something else. Why can't I put a spy on a mountain? Is there not an option to build a James Bond supervillain style mountain top evil base? Like, I swear that should be an option. And if not, that's definitely a moddable thing. Maybe like you could put spies in volcanoes and they become supervillains. Oh, that would be cool. Another eruption. Good. God, that's a lot. Another space station. Woohoo! Oh, and the Sydney Opera House. Of course. Oh, and this one. <laughs> what? When did I build these things? I'm actually doing really well culturally today. Right? Look, 560 tourism. Nice. And now the laser station. In fact, actually, I believe this is the last turn. A hermitage. Of course, there's another one. There's always more wonders, aren't there? What are we on now? Eight light years per turn, 45 done. Yeah, next turn, we're going to do this. We've got future tech going now. We've had it for some time. Hermitage as well. Let's build a thermonuclear device. Why not? Why not? As I say, like the, the only thing really using the power in my empire, particularly at the moment, is this city. Burning through 25 power per turn. But that's only a couple of uranium that I need to use, so that's really not that bad. Yeah. This game has been this game has been fun. I've really liked this one. It's it's I mean, the grievances are are ridiculous, but people are forgiving me. I wish there was something you could do to improve grievances. Like if you undertook a world project of like forgiveness or held a conference or something but look you can see Spain actually doesn't have any grievances against me at all it's just that other people have grievances against me so you know maybe I should have taken the Kemens out of the game are they still technically there somewhere or did they get taken out yeah look they're technically still here and they really hate me so as long as people like that are around I'm never gonna I'm never gonna be super best friends with people but yeah, I mean, I have to say, the star contender, apart from me, this game, has been Eleanor of Aquitaine. Admittedly, aided by a bug, but she has these ridiculous settlements just, like, popped up everywhere. It's really cool. Like, credit to her. She's actually taken over. I don't think this is at all deliberate. Seven capitals. <laughs> Seven capitals. It's nuts, isn't it? Um, somehow the Incans have actually held on to the... Um, Oh, well, of course, the loyalty bug. But, yeah, they've got Mapuche's capital, which is quite cool. France, I think, have Amsterdam, don't they? Yeah, the sneaky thing in. And France would have actually taken over London and Liverpool ages and ages ago. Maybe Scotland would have done. I'm not sure. So, I mean, we'll just check in and we'll see who, who won apart from me. Or who was doing well apart from me. I think it's going to be Eleanor, definitely. Shaka had a good game, actually. They did really, really well. Why, with 120 strength cities and only 80 to 90 in the Congo. The Zulus haven't just eaten through the Congo and attacked. I'm not sure, but they've done well with what they've got, actually, the Congo. I'm fairly impressed. Um, who else has done well? Canada always does well. I think it's because nobody goes into the tundra. They're just left to their own devices. There we go. Look at this. Indonesia. Let's see the ranking. Oh, we didn't even get first. We didn't do enough war to get first. We didn't get Caesar. But there we go. Um, let's have a look at science. I think my science game, this game, was really strong. Yeah, look, I was actually ahead maybe a third of the way through the game. That's unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. Normally it's like two thirds of the way into the game before I accelerate. But look, there's the, um, the rationalism surge that I had later into the game. You can see, I think, player culture I also did quite well on. But what's happening here? Who is that? I actually have no... Is that Canada? I think it might be Canada, you know. Let's just see if we can find them quickly. Uh, Wilford. Is that you? No, it's not. Huh. I don't know who that is, actually. Russia? Peter? No. Uh, who else would have done a lot of a lot of culture? I'm not actually sure. Blimey. So somebody did really randomly on that. Um, let's have a look at uh, cities founded. So I was up there on cities founded again. I think that's why I did quite well in this game. Uh, cities captured. Yeah, by far I had the best war. Again, who was this? There's too many people, unfortunately. Latora, it's not going to be him. Pachuki, no, you, you only took one city. So it wasn't you. 
Um, okay, weird. Well, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, next time, Mayans. That's going to be quite fun. I'm looking forward to that. Hey, go join my Discord. Come find me on Discord. You know it'll be fun. You know it'll be the thing that makes this quarantine the best thing you've ever done. Yeah. He's definitely not going to live up to that promise. See you next time. Bye! And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton for all of the help you give on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes and subscribes to the video. Cheers, you help keep me going.